Saturday was a uh, thing in Bernie called the Art Waddle. They have this little art festival that is, um, has been really informal. Uh, it's kind of a, it started off in this like neighborhood of ho homes and they would get volunteer homeowners to donate their yards for art, for artists to set up their tents in their yards. And then people would walk around the neighborhoods looking at art booths and art. And Bernie is kind of famous for their ducks because they have a river that the, the creek, there's a creek that runs through it. Hi, Katie. And mm -hmm. uh, so there's lots of ducks. And so they call it the art waddle. Oh, how cute. But this year, like I, I did it a few years ago. Like, it wasn't as recent as 2019. I think it was, I think I might have done it in 2018. And uh, it really, for me, it really wasn't very good because I ended up in some, some homeowner's yard that was like way like two blocks west of everybody else. And there was one other artist like two houses down from me, but nobody came, nobody came that far. So it was kind of like, ugh. And I was thinking they really ought to consolidate this in one place. And that's what they did this year. They put it all, um, they didn't get the city park because probably because that's a much busier traffic road, but they got part of the creek that is on the other side of this particular highway that I think the land is owned by like a restaurant and another business or something. It was a big enough area. It was a nice little like park area and they put all the artists there and it was pretty good. I can say that because I sold more, most. It was, it was our whole gallery. The carriage house gallery had a booth there. We had a 10 by 20 space. And we put a little bit of everybody's work up and I brought a bunch of stuff from home because I was donating some panels. So I was there to, in the morning to help set up and I stayed there all day and uh, I sold quite a bit of stuff. So I'm glad because you just never know. I'm so glad I sold a bunch and made all the effort worth it. <laughs> Sometimes it could be the other way. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, Rita. Um, you're talking about selling work um, at, at an outdoor fair and working uh, on textiles. Um, and I've seen you talk about how you put glass and then you tape the edge, you know, to the board. And, mm -hmm. and put it against. are you actually showing those like in a flip in with the glass on the front? No, if, if, I, if, I, if I'm putting glass on artwork, it's going into a frame. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's yeah. I wanted to double check. I was like, and I, honestly, I don't even like at an art festival like that. I'm not selling unframed originals. Right. If something that's is unframed, right. it's a print. Yeah. Okay. But the that only I want to ask. I just wanted yeah. to ask about that. the only really. place that I ever sell unframed originals in a mm -hmm. atmosphere like that is that the the New Braunfels Art League has a sidewalk sale like twice a year. They used to have it twice a year. I think this spring I was doing something else that weekend, so I couldn't do it. But um, I try to do that at least once a year because I'm kind of sort of well known in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't, I don't think I've quite flooded the market yet for my cheap stuff, but mm -hmm. I usually get a few handful of people that want to just come and see what I've got, you know, and, yeah. and I take like old stuff, you know, that I either I never framed because I thought it wasn't quite good enough to frame or mm -hmm. uh, just stuff, you know, older stuff that I've that never sold and it's like five, right. six years old now and I'll just take it out of the frame and I'll lay it on a table, I'll spread it on a table and be like 25 bucks. I'll yeah. be like 25 bucks for anything. And yeah. man, I, I make, I make, you know, yeah. one totally. year I made like over $700 Yeah, That's selling that and miscellaneous other stuff like big canvas prints and stuff that just wasn't moving. But that's the only time I sell unframed originals. And actually, I probably have some in here to show you how I package those. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. So if I'll have like, for instance, um, here's, I probably had these at my last sidewalk sale or uh, this is a, a cup. These are a couple of planar paintings actually from a couple of things I did. This was from Albuquerque actually. And then this was from some planar thing I did, Marble Falls. But this is on like a board, like a gator board mounted thing. And I just put it in those clear bags. Yeah. yeah and I, I wrap it tight, you know, so, so it doesn't slide around. Right. And same thing here. I just put it in a clear bag and I'll put like, see, 25 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. well, 50, okay. 50 bucks for that one but you know whatever um you know sometimes yeah. i can get rid of them and i just know you know like these sorts of things they're just not yeah well you know if this was a if this was a little bit worse i would probably just pitch it <laughs> <laughs>
but there's got to be something there's got to be something about each of these artworks yeah. that yeah something about it that i liked right in order for me to keep it and, and sell it cheap you yeah. know i don't i don't sell the the really bad stuff i just get rid of those <laughs> no, I, I, I hear i hear you <laughs> yeah you know sometimes i think well if it was if i thought it was really good when i painted it even if i painted it like six or eight years ago then you know it's then it's a yeah. good example of my early work right yeah you know so exactly. something and that i might have sold yeah. back then